today we are counting down 10 Xbox 360 games which you need to download from the Xbox Live Store now before it's too late, including one game which I guarantee you have never heard of. But be quick, time is running out. Hello again folks and welcome back to a somewhat somber episode. That's because we are merely days away from the closure of the Xbox 360 store. On July 29th you will no longer be able to download games for your Xbox 360 and tons of exclusive Xbox 360 online only games will disappear forever. I'm not just saying this folks, this is your last chance to grab some of the best online only games of all time and in today's episode we are counting down 10 games which you need to grab now, trust me, time is running out. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and please subscribe. So I put new videos out every Saturday Live at 5, as well as bonus content throughout the week. And I really want you folks along for the ride. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel even more and help me continue my game hunting adventure, please consider becoming a supporter over on Patreon. It's just a pound a month. You get tons of bonus content. And even though the Xbox 360 store is closing, the collecting never stops. Let's get into our list. Our first game is from a genre of games I absolutely love, shmup games, and 1942 is one of the greatest game franchises of this genre, and this game does not disappoint. It is exactly what you expect, being swarmed by tons and tons of enemies, some absolutely incredible bosses, and even better, you can grab this one on the Xbox 360 store at the moment for just 67 pence. Now, not many of these games are that cheap, and for that price, you need to add this to your Xbox 360 library. The next game on our list is once again an absolute bargain, coming in at just 67p. And it comes from one of my favourite racing game franchises of all time, the Burnout franchise. But here's the thing, this isn't a racing game, this is a crashing game. This is Burnout Crash. And I cannot believe the last time we had a proper Burnout Crash mode was in 2005's Burnout Revenge. Yes, I know we had a pale imitation with Burnout Paradise, but this is what Burnout Crash is all about. Huge explosions, multipliers, and just causing as much carnage and mayhem as possible. And it doesn't seem like we're ever going to have another full crash mode, so for 67p, you need to grab this one. If there is only one game on this list which you download to your Xbox 360 console, make sure it is this game right here, Doritos Crash Course, because this one is the cheapest game on our list, because this is a free game. 2010 on the Xbox 360 store was a strange time as this won a competition to be picked as a free game for all Xbox owners. Yes, it is sponsored by Doritos for some bizarre reason. I have no idea what the link is to Doritos, but not since Pepsi Man have we seen a stranger crossover than this one. And it's an absolutely fantastic game. It uses the avatars really well, which is something you haven't seen in many games. And it's just a lot of fun, especially for a free title. But make sure when you go to download this game, you also download Harm's Way. Yes, Doritos released not one, but two games on the Xbox 360. Crazy times. The next game on our list is another game which uses the Xbox 360 avatars, but this time for a wrestling game. And as an absolutely massive fan of all wrestling games, I had to have this game on the list, as this is the only way to play a very, very strange game. Yes, this uses the Fire Pro Wrestling license, Yes, it isn't the greatest wrestling game of all time and is arguably a waste of that license. But as an oddity, if you're an Xbox 360 collector, this is the only way to play this game. And as a wrestling fan, you should probably check this one out. It's very strange, very niche, but it's your last chance to grab this one. So don't miss out. Iron Brigade is one of my favourite Xbox 360 live arcade games ever released. And it was one of the very first digital games which I ever bought for my collection. And I absolutely love this game. It is a hybrid of third-person shooter and tower defence game. And it is absolutely incredible. And the main reason this game is so good is the customization. You kind of pilot this mech which is also like a trench warfare machine and essentially you have to protect your home base at any cost but it's a customization you can load 
any combination of guns and weapons onto your mech. Just anything which you think you need to stop the alien menace from overrunning your base. And there is a lot of customization in this game. You can play this game exactly how you one. It is an absolutely fantastic game. If you're a fan of third person shooters, you'll love it. If you're a fan of tower defense games, you'll love it. Just don't miss out on this one. The next game on our list is Renegade Ops, a top-down vehicular combat game, which to me feels like a throwback to classic 16-bit era games such as Desert Strike, Jungle Strike and Urban Strike. This is a twin-stick vehicular combat game which is all about destruction. This game kind of reminds me of Mercenaries as well because every problem in this game can be solved with guns, bullets and explosions. And the more XP you get from causing more mayhem, the more you can upgrade your vehicle and cause even more destruction. And even better, if that destruction gets a little bit too much, this game also has couch co-op. That's right, you and a friend can sit on a sofa and cause even more carnage in split screen. This is the kind of game which is sadly dying out, as well as couch co-op. So this is one, if you enjoy just destroying stuff, couch co-op, top-down shooters or twin-stick shooters, you need to check this game out. The only thing I would say negatively about this game is some of the speech and the script is pretty cringeworthy. But at the end of the day, who's going to be able to hear any of that over all of the sounds of explosions and fire and absolute chaos? Ah, South Park Let's Go Tower Defense. I have such good memories of playing this game in couch co-op. But this is definitely a game which is only recommended if you are a fan of South Park. If you are easily offended, avoid this game. Trust me on that one. But if you enjoy South Park, if you enjoy tower defense games, this one is a must and honestly, this is a game which I doubt will ever see the light of day ever again after the closure of the Xbox 360 stall, which is a real shame. As honestly, to date, this is without a shadow of a doubt one of the very best South Park games ever made. So if you're a South Park fan, you need this one on your Xbox hard drive. As I said earlier in this video, I was a massive fan of the Strike games back in the 16-bit era. And this game right here, Thunder Wolves, is a throwback and a spiritual successor to those incredible games. And once again, this game is absolute chaos. It is like being on a roller coaster, but everything around you is exploding. The best part of this game is you do not have to worry about conserving ammo. You have an infinite ammo chain gun. Your rockets reload surprisingly quick and all this is so you can destroy absolutely everything in your path. This game is only about four hours long but it is overwhelming. Every single thing explodes. You literally just point and it blows up. This is absolute carnage. Arcade shooting fun. It's so over the top. Once again it has incredibly cheesy dialogue but it's just a roller coaster you don't want to miss out on. It is so ridiculously over the top. The screen is flashing continuously with explosions. I just can't put into words the chaos that this game provides. You just need to experience it for yourself. I cannot believe it was all the way back in 2008 when we last had a game from the Vigilante franchise of Vigilante 8 Arcade, which was exclusive to the Xbox 360 marketplace. This was a hybrid of Vigilante 8 and its expansion, Second Offense, and it is an absolutely sublime vehicular combat game. And even better, it doesn't just have single player, no, it has four player split screen couch co-op which is by far and away my favorite way to play multiplayer because there's just something about being in the same room and smirking at the person who you just wasted in a game of course you can still play this online but with the upcoming closure of the xbox 360 servers who knows for how long it just blows my mind that this game hasn't been brought back in a world that seems obsessed with Battle Royale games, this could indeed win the battle to be the greatest Battle Royale game of all time. Please, someone, bring it back. What up? This is Snoop. Make sure you check out this preview to my new game, Way of the Dog, where I show you the path to greatness. You did. 
I said at the start of this video there would be a game on this list which I think 99% of people would have never heard of, let alone played. And that is this game from legendary rapper Snoop Dogg, Way of the Dog. Now, looking at it, this game looks super cool. You'd think, oh, it's like a cell-shaded Grand Theft Auto game. No, you would be wrong. Can you guess what genre of game this is? Of course, it is a rhythm-based fighting game. Essentially, imagine Dance Dance Revolution, but set to the songs of Snoop Dogg, but also set to a fighting game. It is incredibly, incredibly weird. It is a very niche game. It is a game which will undoubtedly disappear forever when the Xbox 360 online store closes. And this is a real weird game. And you know me by now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I love to find the weird, the wonderful and the odd when it comes to gaming. And this one is right up there. This is one of the strangest games I've ever played. I have no idea why this game got made. I have no idea how this game got made. But let's just be happy that we live in a time where a Snoop Dogg video game exists, but not for much longer. This game will be gone forever very soon, so grab it while you can. There we have it then, folks. It truly is the end of an era. The Xbox 360 store will be closed very, very soon. But let me know in the comments down below, what is your favourite memory of the Xbox 360 and specifically the Xbox 360 online store? There were so many bangers. And for so many people, this was the first experience of ever downloading games rather than going to the shops and buying a physical game. It was so liberating to be able just to buy a game at home, sit there, wait for it to download and be playing without ever leaving the house. But as we are slowly seeing, this is one of the issues with digital only gaming. You never truly own the game and they can be taken away from you at any time. And that, my friends, is why I collect physically. There we have it then, folks. That was 10 Xbox 360 games, which you need to download now before the store closes forever. But fear not. For me, Xbox 360 and game collecting never ends. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, keep playing the game. See you soon.